What's up, YouTube? This is Bash in the X Arena. Guys, today I'm coming to you from the YGO organization page because yesterday Konami announced two sets that are going to be coming out this fall, and these sets are going to have implications on how things are going to be released um, for this year as well as the upcoming year. So, without further ado, we're jumping right into this, and the first set that's being released is Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. Now, this is going to be a similar to the Legendary Duelist Collection um, sets that we've been getting um, out of TCG Konami. We have a set date for Chapter 1, November 19th, and I can tell you right now, this set is going to be huge. Um, the difference between the Legendary Duelist Collections and this in this Hidden Arsenal collection set is that Legendary Duelist collection sets just focus on the newer release cards from specific Legendary Duelist sets, and you usually get two Legendary Duelist sets per collection via the seasons. Hidden Arsenal, however, they're covering the first four Hidden Arsenal sets, um, which means all those archetypes in those Hidden Arsenal sets, the first four, they're going to be in here. So Ice Barriers, Fables, Dragoonity, Worms, LA, Justice, Nichoria, Jirax, X Sabers, even the um, Gustos. I think they were all in those first four sets. So, yeah, this is definitely a set that you want to be keeping an eye on, especially if you don't have a lot of the cards from these first four hidden arsenal sets. Um, the breakdown is pretty standard for the collector sets. One secret rare, six ultras, two golds, as well as four colors. The colors are purple, green, blue. 30 commons, 37 cards per box, which is actually pretty good. One hidden arsenal storyline insert with game mat. So it's going to be a paper game mat with the lore of the hidden arsenal um, archetypes or sets on the back, which is actually very cool. Because if you guys know anything about the lore, the, the lore of the hidden arsenal sets is pretty damn epic. And then, of course, we get one special collectible die, which is pretty standard for a lot of the collector sets. Um, the implications this has on releases is that we probably won't be seeing Legendary Duelist Collection Season 3 until next year. It's probably being released as um, around the same time as Season 2 was this year. So, I know it kind of sucks because I was hoping to reinforce my hero deck with the evil uh, hero support that was going to be reprinted. And pick up the Dark Magician support as well, so I can actually finally build a Dark Magician deck. Um, that being said, yeah, I know it sucks that we won't be getting Season 3 of Legendary Duelist, but hey, it is what it is. Um, we are getting new Legendary Duelist sets, so I'm guessing they're only going to be releasing one per year. And we're only, and we're going to have to wait so they can actually release a collection and then one the new set. All right, it is what it is, but that's that. We're going to go over to the next one, and that's going to be the Battles of Legend 2021. This is a working title. It's not the official title of this Battle of Legend set. Um, we also don't have a set. It's just marked for fall, but I can tell you right now, um, since Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1 is November 19th, the Megatons are going to be September 15th. Odds are this is going to be released sometime during October. That's my theory. Uh, TCG Konami is using the OCG Animation Chronicle set as the core for this particular set. This is the one that actually set that actually has all the Griever Brothers, um, the more Sherry cards, more Utopia cards, and even at English support for various sets. And of course we have Dragon Red and De Declaration of Rebirth in this set as well, which means they're not going to be included in the Cyber Strike structure deck. This brings me a side of relief because Declaration of Rebirth is a continuous trap that turns any monster into a type you want, which just helps the cyber or dark R type a lot because you can turn all your monsters in your graveyard into dragons and just go from there. Um, Dragonroid is something that Cyrus, I know he used in his Veroid Cyber Dark deck in the anime, so that's actually pretty cool. That being said, this card being in this set means we probably will be seeing, we probably will be seeing that. Um, Infinite Impermanence common reprint in the structure deck. Alright, this was pretty much the only card I think that would have written its thing. Uh, a lot of people are saying, oh, we're not getting both, but I got a feeling with the number of times this Infinite Impermanence has been reprinted, a common reprint is on its way. Um, as for the Lightning Storm, um, 
Well, we're going to get into this because right here in this particular set is going to be Forbidden Droplet. Now, it says this is including another chance to attain the tournament main state Forbidden Droplet. Um, most readers would say, oh, that's the Megatons. No, 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 not the Megatons because over here with the OTS Pack 16, it was confirmed as one of the ultimate rares in this set, which means I don't think we're getting Forbidden Droplet in the Megatons this year. And because, and considering that once we start, they swapped over to um, the current generation of core booster sets where they're focusing in on R-type specific stuff and not really anime related, we started seeing a lot more higher rarity cards. I mean, if you look at Rise of the Duelists, a lot of the Dogmatica stuff, ultra rare, secret rare, um, you had some, some of the Phantom Mike cards being secret rare as well. Um, Zeus, Alpha, yeah, you have Tactical Talents. They were all in th these sets. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if Konami does make those cuts cuts and reprints Forbidden Droplet in other sets like Battles of Legends. Um, I still don't think we're going to get the Lightning Storm common reprint in the Cyber Strike structure deck. Um, not, I don't think we're going to see it as a co common before the Megatons. Although, I say... Uh, that's just my thing, but I will say that the potential of it could happening has increased. And I'm not saying it will, I just said the potential has, especially since they cut Forbidden Drop out of the Mega. It looks like they, they cut Forbidden Drop out of the Mega Tens this year. That being said, I'm pretty hyped about these sets. I know Battles of Legends is always pretty awesome. We're getting it later this year than we normally do, but hey, you know what? Fine. Um, if Konami does release this in October, I'm hoping they release it maybe the week of October 8th. So maybe people attending New York Comic Con could possibly buy boxes of the set. I mean, I would buy two boxes of the set at Comic Con without putting it high. Um, but, you know, that's just me. Um, so that's it. For these new sets. Pretty awesome in my, my opinion. Before I go, I'm just going to give you an update on my health from last video. Um, the swelling in my hand has gone down significantly. I can actually see all my knuckles. <coughs> it actually, the swelling actually got worse after I actually posted that, villain, that video. Um, but now it's actually starting to go down. I'm able to hold things in my hand a little bit more. Uh, I'm having pretty good comfort with holding things in my hand, writing with pencils. Um, so that's actually pretty good. So probably we'll get back to doing physical deck profiles next week. Um, later this week, I am going to be starting a new series of videos of basically me playing the meta decks like I discussed in the last video. Um, I figured out the what, plef, what pl platform I want to be playing on, um, and it's all just about getting things done from here. So it's going to be pretty fun. Um... Hopefully you guys will watch that. That video should hopefully be up on Friday. And I hope you guys do enjoy it. That being said, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this on my channel, make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss any uploads. Check out the description box below. Find the invites link to my Discord server. Join the conversation. We'd love to have you. Check out my affiliates, tcgplayer.com and sidedeckpressures.com. Great resources for any Yu-Gi-Oh! Follow me on social media, and until next time, guys, peace.